Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. My name is Benjamin Lewis. If that's the kind of thing you're into, subscribe and click the little bell so you always get notifications and never miss a word. And I couldn't bring myself to do it. I couldn't make something up for April Fool's Day. I couldn't try and trick everyone. So instead, I'm just going to take a look at the word. Fool. Noun. Silly, stupid, or arrogant person. Verb. To deceive someone intentionally. History and etymology. We've all heard someone called a windbag. But what is a windbag, and what does it have to do with the word fool? Well, a windbag is a bag full of what is essentially nothing. Nothing but air. Well, going back to Old French, the word to describe a windbag, or what we would call today a bellows, like a blacksmith's bellows, something to stoke a fire, blows air on a fire, was a foal. Foal was also meant insane person, idiot, or jester. This French word comes from the original Latin root folus, meaning bellows or a leather bag. This is where the word fool comes from in English. Calling someone a fool refers to their empty-headedness or their ver verbose expression of terrible ideas. Now it's time for sound change corner. The Proto-Indo-European root for folus was bel, spelled with a B-H-E-L. Now, how do you get from the B sound at the beginning, b, to the f sound at the beginning of fool, f, f, b, b? Well, if you pay attention when you're making the sound with your lips, they are very similar in the way they're created. The B sound is called a bilabial stop. And when you're doing it, you're putting your lips together. B, B, and you're stopping the air and then releasing it all of a sudden. And what it is related to is, this is a labiodental, meaning when you put your lower lip against your teeth to make the F sound. F, B, F. Your mouth is making almost the exact same position. With the Proto-Indo-European root, bel, you can even see where words like blow, or blustery, or bl even balloon came from. These are words that came from the same thing, meaning to blow, or even inflate, or to uh, swell. And obviously, our word bellows in English still dates back to this root. Ultimately, I think what's most fascinating is that for thousands of years, our insults have all gone back to air in the head. So airheads, blowhards, windbags, fool. All of these, a lot of these common insults date back millennia, and we're still using them today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or you feel like you've learned something, Hit like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. I'm sure they'll find it interesting too. As you can probably tell, I'm trying something new. I'm going to try and do more frequent episodes. Close to daily, probably just week daily, Monday through Friday. And if you're interested in helping me out, you can follow the link below to my website where you can find ways to support what I'm doing here with my video dictionary. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, Keep on learning.